Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And it's been a couple of days and unfortunately that was not my own choosing. For all of you that do not know, YouTube took my account down for a little bit or rather they deleted one of my videos that allowed me to not uh, make or upload something for the next week or so. I had to go through the process of trying to get that video basically approved again and to prove it's a mistake. And that takes a little bit of time, but who cares? Right now, we're back with some crypto news, and crypto is at a very interesting point. Now, unfortunately, depending on how you view it, today is like one of those quiet days, relatively. Uh, Bitcoin fell below 20,000 for a little bit. Right now, it's down about 4.5%. Ethereum is down about 7%, and XRP, funny enough, is down about 3%. And it's been a little recurring theme here over the last couple of weeks. Bitcoin bounces back stronger than most altcoins. Um, but when you know things are falling here, XRP and Cardano, they're performing really, really well versus Ethereum and Bitcoin. It's been just interesting to watch. You guys all know most of the time I actually compare the stock markets to Bitcoin. And this is actually one of the only days where Bitcoin is kind of going down when the stock market is continuing to move upwards. It's been an odd day, you know, because generally speaking, we can see this momentum. We can see exactly how it moves and Bitcoin follows along just nicely, which is also the last couple of days, right? Stocks are going up. Bitcoin is going up. It's literally on each day that's a little bit differently, but I think the margins are so small that it doesn't matter too much just quite yet, as we had a really nice close for Bitcoin last week. Having said that, I asked you guys over on Twitter, what type of videos would you like to see? You know, I finally got my account back, so what would you like to hear about? One of the top things I saw, I saw at least two or three people talk about it, was BitDAO. Now, BitDAO is the crypto that you often are, I guess, let me say it like this, that we often use over on Bybit for different things, which I'll showcase to you guys in a second. But the coin on its own, the, the DAO concept and whatever they're doing, it's actually pretty huge, mostly from the perspective that it's a pretty good deal to buy this coin regardless of when. And a lot of people are trying to point that out to me. However, if you take a look over on Bybit, you can actually find the launchpad. And one of the newest tokens that launched on there was, um, not sure what the name was anymore. I think it's Vulcan. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so here you can see that token and the performance of it. So the price we got to buy at was 0 0.01. Right now it's about 12 cents or so. So let's say it's about an 11 or so X. And again, how we go about these things, how we buy them is just go down below, get yourself an account over on Bybit. And you need to have some BIT because, well, the more BIT you have, um, up to a certain maximum, the more you're allowed to buy the specific token that's launching on their platform. And uh, another one is launching rather soon here in two days, or at least the start is in two days. It's going to run for about five days and then it will launch. It's called Open Blocks. What it does, I don't know. Honest talk, I don't know. Same thing for the Walken. I assumed it was move to earn, but honestly, I literally do not know, nor do I care. I, I don't think the camera is going to work too nicely. No, I think it's a little bit too laggy. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, it's also very hot in here. Uh, because there's no air conditioning, you know, and the the whole Europe here is having a lot of troubles with the heat because, you know, it's not meant to be this hot. I digress. So Open Blocks is launched on there rather soon. I'm going to start buying into it the moment that we are, you know, allowed to do so. Uh, and it's basically either you do it via lottery system or you make sure you have BIT in your account, which will basically allow you to get these tokens. And very often it is worth it because, well, as you've most likely seen from the majority of my videos here, all tokens that launch on there do well. It's always worth it. Never failed thus far. And so, you know, I think it's just, it's just worth the try. Let me put it like that. All right, moving on. Powell says the Federal Reserve is tracking crypto market volatility very closely. Now, this is always an important thing to kind of keep up with or to look into uh, because you want to know what the Federal Reserve is doing. You want to know what their thoughts are. Then again, there's not any necessary action we can take because of this statement except for the fact that they're watching. However, that does bring me to a certain point, which is a lot of people in my comment section are saying, give up on crypto, look for a new career or things of this sort. It's really funny what people are saying nowadays that the crypto prices are lower. A lot of those guys are going to start screaming, yeah, crypto, once we're back at the top. Um, but I digress. It's funny to me how this stuff is making it so apparent. All these, um, I guess, reasonings or all these watch dogs, watch eyes, whatever. They're starting to showcase the majority of us here that there's absolutely no way crypto is really going away. They're placing their eye on it because they're kind of waiting on what exactly to do with them knowing fully well this technology is here to stay and it will only get bigger. The only question is how exactly are we going to basically attack it or control it or anything of that sort? They're not looking at it and thinking, hmm, maybe it's going to form a problem at one point. Maybe it's going to this, maybe. No, they're looking at it like, how can we make best use of our um, tools to handle the situation in the best way possible? 
Then there's a very interesting article here over on Business Insider. A trillion dollars will come into this market overnight. Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary outlines how crypto regulation could propel the industry to new heights and break down his strategies for investing in crypto. So if you guys want a little rundown of my own strategies, it's go for utility, go for coins that if you buy them right now and you look back in five years, uh, they won't necessarily be up because, again, we don't know how the crypto cycles are going to work, but you know they'll still be around. That's actually the most important. You know, a lot of the cryptos which I bought five years ago, yeah, they're, they're not here anymore. Specifically, if you start to look at the 2017 come up with all the ICOs, I bought a lot of hot garbage. And if you look at another coin like Shiba, even though I think it performed really well, I'm very happy that I bought into it. It's not actually something I'll put a significant amount of money into for the future. So even though they're going for that metaverse and there's definitely a, a good chance that they're going to do really well, it's not something which I honestly would fill in my utility bracket of must-haves for the crypto space. It's just a nice little meme coin, a risky one that might do well in the future, but it's not one of my certain bangers, right? Uh, however, to come back on that point of outlines how regulation could propel the industry to new heights. I often think about XRP, really, uh, in terms of them setting the standard for crypto regulation over in the US. And I honestly think that that's going to be like the the center point for a lot of money getting invested into the space. Right now, crypto is pretty big, sure. But a trillion dollars overnight is literally overnight, potentially. Yeah, you know, the first couple of days or so, a trillion dollars could come into the space or, uh, you know, could be invested in it because of just that one simple ripple um, ruling. However, over the next couple of weeks, next couple of days, next couple of months, can you guys just imagine how crazy it's going to be when crypto finally gets regulated properly over in the US and it gets the proper seal of approval from different parts of the world? I mean, right now, a lot of instances can say, well, but look at what's happening over in the US. These cryptos having lawsuits is not clear, yada, yada, yada. The moment that the US starts to spearhead that crypto regulation by saying, yep, this one is completely a okay or a completely good, completely thumbs up. Yeah, that's, I think, when the ball starts to roll really, really significantly and when things are going to go really, really hard. Uh, specifically, XRP, I think, will get a crazy pump at that point. And I've told this to a lot of people. Very often, people criticize that by thinking, no, it's not going to pump because this, that, this, that. It's a shit coin. Yada, yada. I honestly think people are forgetting. The first properly regulated crypto in the U.S., I, I think that, that gets, a, gets a big bang going, regardless of what you think of the crypto itself. Then I had this article, and I think it's rather interesting. If you guys know Voyager, the uh, the app, the platform, they've apparently just disclosed a $660 million exposure to uh, Three Arrows Capital. And all of a sudden, the token fell by, I think, about 65% or so. Which leads me to one conclusion. Be careful. Be very, very careful when investing into these platform type of crypto that are not within your top or the top bracket. But even then, I like to keep a sector all the time for um, platform slash exchange related tokens. However, I would never put a um, very huge percentage of my money in those because even though the utility is pretty good and, and there's a very solid longevity with the most of them it's always one blow away right something small happens to the exchange the token can lose the majority of its value overnight and so with a bnb i feel rather safe and i have that sometimes with a couple of these other tokens but now we're seeing again that voyager's crypto itself just completely kicked the bucket because of one poor investment um i guess choice that they made somewhere and so that's all I want to quickly say about that one is be a little bit more careful than you think you should be. <laughs> and then moving on into uh, that lawsuit, what we just said about the Ripple side, SEC lawsuit negative impact. SBI Africa promised to use the XRP ledger if Ripple wins the SEC case. Fingers crossed as SBI Africa promises to use the XPL if Ripple wins. Mr. Kitao of SBI gave an investor presentation today in Nagoya on page 164 of the 187. It stated... XRP ODL will be examined for utilization in the SBI Motor Africa business model when Ripple's U.S. trial ended um, in the desired result, which obviously would be a win. And this is a very big deal, obviously, because utilizing this technology over in Africa is very underused, I would say. But of course, the sector is huge as well. This would be very nice the full circle come around with SBI as well, which obviously has been a very big Ripple supporter for a very long time. We had Kitao. I uh, should take Kitao, the CEO, on the board before. Right now, we have the, um, I think, CEO of SBI Ripple. What is, the, what is the official joint venture called again? I think SBI Ripple Asia, maybe, or something of this sort. Um, that's now on the board at Ripple, but yeah, it's huge. And last but not least, one little Ripple announcement we had uh, just now. By the way, I have a little sore throat, I think. No, nah, I don't think I know, obviously, but um, yeah. Regarding... Are, I'm just checking out one thing. Can I? No, it's not possible. 
there was one freaking scooter that kept like uh, trying to start up. <laughs> but so I wanted to press the pause button on the freaking keyboard. Didn't work. I tried to press the pause button manually. Didn't work. I was like, yeah, I'm a little awkward spot because I don't want to keep, ah, whatever. So uh, last but not least, Ripple opens an engineering hub in Canada, Toronto, to drive crypto innovation. News just came out and apparently it's a strategic expansion with its first office in Canada to onboard engineering talent. Plans to hire hundreds across the globe this year. And I often, oh, sorry guys, I obviously think that's a very good thing over for Ripple to do. Obviously they're expanding like crazy. People are starting to see it, I think. I mean, but yeah, last but not least, also, guys, just to kind of round it off real quick without going too far into the situation. You guys know everything about Ripple at this point, right? We, we talked about all this. They're expanding like crazy. I honestly think it's a great project to get into. Uh, Ripple, both, and XRP. I think both of them are kind of nice to actually buy into if you ever get the chance. Again, my personal thoughts, not financial advice. Regarding WSOT, I think it's officially started. I'm not a thousand percent sure. If you don't have yourself an account just quite yet, I think if you sign up now, you still get yourself either a free NFT or a couple of free spins. And the spins are always a couple dollars worth or so. And you get at least one, maybe a couple if you trade a little bit. Uh, having said that, that's free money just for signing up. If you don't have a Bybit account just quite yet, make sure you check out the link down below. But more importantly, join the competition. It's an $8 million competition. And if we win, the prize money gets split over all of us. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. It is always worth it at least in my opinion it is so check it out and i'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today